Oh hello, I'm the Knot Man and I'll tell you one of my interests in life are classic cars and I'm refurbing one now. So today I'm going to show you how to refurb a classic sports car wheel. So if you follow me along I'll show you just how to do it. I'm the Knot Man and this is the Country Ways series. Now today I'm going to show you how to buff up this old wheel back to a high standard. I refer to old cars and at the moment I'm referring a 1972 Triumph Spitfire and this is one of the wheels. Now I could actually go out and buy a new wheel but actually I think it's better to try and refurb this as one of the originals. You need a few tools like this with a nice twirly blade on the front that grinds off all the rust. You'll need some masking tape for later on, a cheap paint brush, another wire brush and a smaller one for doing the intricate bits around the circular bits of the wheel. Okay, now let's get on with this while we can. So we we'll start on the edge and just work slowly and this takes the rust back off a bit back to basic now. Remember to keep the pressure on and keep going. It's not an easy job, but it's worth it in the end. What I'm going to do is use this little tool here to try and get in the nicky little bits that are very difficult. So if you watch me now, I'll just try and get in here and rub that rust off. It's important to get it all off. like a wire brush with a handle. Very good for getting little tricky areas. I'm now going to try and get the lip between the tyre and the wheel. 
I don't like to use the drill too much because it can actually damage the tyre and that's really important. As you can see by this tyre down here, the tread, this is a brand new one which I've had to go out and buy five new tyres and you can see the bobbly bits on it so we don't really want to damage it. But what we do with this, very gently you work it round the outside ring of the tyre. As you say, you don't want to damage that tyre. So there we are, you just work it round nice and steady. It's a slow job I know and people don't always want to do it. But if you want to bring a wheel back, this is the way it is. And this is the way I found out from my grandfathers and my father. The way to do stuff is keep on going, plumbing it hour after hour. And you do achieve a greatness at the end of it. A self-worth, but not just that. You also get to know that you've done a lot of work on your vehicle yourself without having to pay out all the time. It's worthwhile in the end. So just keep rubbing away at the rust. It's really important. You keep working and working and working. As you can see, it's coming up slowly. It's not an easy job, but it's just a job that has to happen. But the results are quite good at the end, which you'll see later on. What we do now is we just want to see how the wheel's going. So you take your brush, you lift the wheel up, and look at that. Woo! Look at that lot. So we give it a good old brushing round. Lucky it's a nice dry day. Don't try and breathe too much of this stuff in. But what it does is... Look at that, you can see now, I'll turn the wheel around. You can see we've taken quite a, a good load of rust off. A bit more work on it, but it's coming along now, coming along. And you'll be surprised. Look at that, coming along. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then we're gonna go to stage two. And that will surprise you people, my little trip. There we go, okay, okay. It's just a little bit more cleaning up and then we're gonna go for a little old extra tip I'm going to show you. So, I shall just carry on a bit more then. This masking tape here, this really comes into an own now. Uh, what I do now is I actually tape round the rim of the wheel and we're going to use my little special trick in a moment, but first let me just start taping up. Not another easy job, but as I said earlier, it has to be done. So you have to try and get the tape under the rim. Um, here we go, a bit tricky, a bit tricky. But we, it takes a while to get it right, but like all things in life, the best things you have to wait for. Also, my mother says anyway, and my mother knows a lot. So, I shall now tape up round the tire, because obviously later on we will be spraying it. That Let's start off nice and easy, just getting the start of the ring round it. Yeah, after you take the wheel up, this is the secret ingredient. Red oxide, you can't beat it. Always wear a glove though. If you get it on your skin, oh, it takes ages to come off because it really does the trick buy good quality red oxide because it saves the metal in the long run. So, I'll just take the lid off. Voila! Okay, I have my little brush with me. Um, we're going to probably put about two or three coats on the wheel today, but um, as time's pressing on. So, don't be frightened to put it on there, because what you do is you get it on to start with, and we start to smooth over afterwards. The secret is just to make sure that every crack and crevice is totally full of this. It's no good being frightened or afraid now. You're committed. You've got to really, really work it into the metal and keep pushing it in, pushing it in, because this will save the wheel and save you from buying a new wheel. And it's all about refurbing the old and don't buy new unless you really have to. So just put it on there. Put a load on there. Can you see the way I'm putting it on now? It's no good being frightened now. You keep painting and painting it going around that ring. The idea of the masking tape is so you don't get it on your lovely new tyre. As you can see, I'm not afraid to put it on. I just keep putting it on, putting it on. There's a drying time, uh, so what we do is we work this in, and then we'll come back to this in a minute. I'm going to now get the metal in. Um, work it in every part. Keep brushing and brushing really hard. It's, it's really important that the tyre gets the first coat. As I say, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, but this is the first coat, 
and you can see this is uh, going actually every bit has got to be covered. It has to be covered now. And it works itself into the metal and slows down the rust and actually like kills the rust off. So this is the way you've got to go. As you can see I'm working a bit like a casino wheel, this really. I'm going round and round and round. Who knows where I'm going to stop? Well, we'll stop at the beginning because that's where we have to go round to because it's round. So we're working our way back to the beginning. Yeah, can you see now that the wheel's got a nice red? I'm now going to paint the insides of the holes. This is quite a little tricky trick, but you have to do this. As I keep saying, it is relentless, but at the end, the result is very nice. See? As you can see now, I'm now applying the second coat. So as you can see, the first one's dried. There has been a time gap of about half hour really and now I'm putting the second coat on. This is really a nice thick, can you see how shiny this is? This is really important and you have to really work this one. This one you have to work it because you want to take out any lines because when you finally put the top spray on it the lines show up so just keep working it round and round. You can see the nice shiny effect so just keep going, put it on thick but keep working it and working it see and also brushing in round here where the tape is so that you get every part of the wheel. It's really, really important you keep working it in because red oxide is fantastic stuff. It really does save things. And as you can see, I use it on all my projects. Um, anything with Metlom, gates, cars, even some boat parts, I will be always using red oxide. As you can see, the wheels had two good coats of red oxide. So what we'll do is, we'll leave this to dry now. There's about 20 minutes, half hour real drying time. But I'll take you out to see some wheels I've done previously, to see what they're gonna look like when we're finished. So normally what happens is I do two coats of red oxide, and then let them dry overnight, and then I put two or three misty coats of silver on it, and let them dry, and then two coats of lacquer on top. I use top grade lacquer, and when that shines up, that saves the wheel. So let me take you out and let you see my classic car now and see how it's going. This wheel is already back on the car. It's already been red oxide, red debris sprayed up. As you can see, there's a bit more cleaning up. I will go and get some uh, nice tyre back to black and put it round here. And it's still got to be sprayed. But for now, that's the sort of effect you'll get when she's had two good coats. It's not too bad, bit of cleaning up, but it's looking very nice actually. I've got my sprays here, got my silver spray and I've got my lacquer. First we'll put the silver so you've got to give it a good shape. I feel like I'm making cocktails. I don't mind cocktails, they're quite nice. Anyway. So what we do is we just give it a little light coat. It normally takes three, but I'll show you an example now. Just light and so it doesn't run. The secret is don't let it run. Build up coats slowly at a time. So we start at the back, just give it a nice spray over like so. A, a, a bit of a safety tip, always do it in fresh air outside because it is quite strong and it's not that healthy for you. So um, always remember health and safety is really important for you. So always do it in an open atmosphere like this. Don't do it in an enclosed environment. I'm sorry if I go on, but safety is really important. But yeah, just slowly, slowly mist coat the wheel. Like so, you slowly build up the layers. You can see it now slowly turning silver. Yeah, it's an ongoing project, this old car of mine. I've got a few on the go, but look, basically the wheel's back on it now. See that? It's had two coats of red oxide, three of silver, two lots of lacquer, and it's not looking too bad. Well, when the finished product is on the road, She's going to be beautiful and she's going to look like this. It's a classic green. Each year the Spitfire had a different colour banding. 
But green is the lighter green is a 1970-73 Leyland green. And she will look like this one day on the road.